Hello everybody, we are going to talk about Ferdinand von Zeppelin. Now my friend Joel is going to talk about the biography. Ferdinand von Zeppelin. He was born July 8, 1938 in Constant Prussia and educated at the Ludwigsburg Military Academy and the University of Tuben. He entered the Prussian Army in 1958 and he went to the United States in 1963 to work as a military observer from the Union Army in the American Civil War and leading his sport the headwaters on the Mississippi River, making his first balloon flying while he was in Minnesota. Zeppelin received a military commission in 1958 and also he made the first of several balloon ascension at Powell, Minnesota. He retired of the military in 1919 and he dedicated the rest of his life to release, to release his great invasion, which was the Zeppelin. Zeppelin struggled for 10 years to produce his lighter than aircraft. The German government released the advantages of the dirigible, which was much better than the few developed aircraft. And when Zeppelin achieved 24 hours flying in 1906, he received commission for an entire fleet. Fernandin von Zeppelin spent nearly a decade development the dirigible, the first of many reached complete in 1900. He made the first direct flight on July 2, 1900, and in 1910, a Zeppelin provided the first commercial air service for passengers. Now I'm going to talk about the inventions of Ferdinand von Zeppelin. He was very interested in the flight of balloons and also he spent all his life in the design and construction of airships. His first flight was on July 2, in 19, but it was not until 1906, at the age of 78. He successfully completed his first device. His first invention was the Zeppelin, but the official name is El Zeta 1. This Zeppelin had a speed of 48 km per hour. His first appearance and contact with the aerostatic navigation was in the hot air balloon. In 1877, he published his vision of civil transport based on large hot air balloons. The first plumes were shaped like an elongated cigar and they were supported by bags of gas that contained a dangerous element called hydrogen that could be highly flammable. Other important thing was the bulky artifacts, had to use giant hangars. The first such as building was done and carried by von Zeppelin and have a cost of 65 million marks in that time. Von Zeppelin built a rigid structure for his ship and also they built a prototype of a Zeppelin, but have a lot of mistakes. The L seat 1 of 180 meters long and two engines of 16 horses and sustained with hydrogen, which took off on July 2 and flew over Lake Constance, piloted by Zeppelin himself. The flight lasted 18 minutes and must make an emergency landing on the water. In 1908, the German government finally decided to support the Zeppelin company, provided it managed to make an uninterrupted flight of 24 hours. Unfortunately, the LZ-4 could not complete his itinerary because it was destroyed by a storm. This caused that German government regrets and not support his company. But when the First World War began in 1914, the Zeppelin Airlion was the first aircraft in the world that was used for the civil transport of travelers by air, in which around 40,000 people traveled. While time went, the Zeppelin became more luxurious and became the pride of the German nation.